the, your actual shots. They don't show how they get in. It's like it's like it goes right through. It's like how the hell did they get into the castle? It doesn't make no sense to me. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris, and, I'm Christopher. and on today's episode, we're finally taking a look at something that premiered during the Oscars, which he won. He won the Oscar predictions. By two, I got production design and predicted Kobe Bryant was going to win an Oscar. We would have been tied at least. <laughs> um, but anyways, this of course we're talking about is the first official full teaser trailer for Mary Poppins Returns. Yeah. Now, for those keeping track, it is very interesting. This now, see, this is the movie I was talking about on our Chris Robin reaction, where they're going back, taking an iconic figure, and returning him in some way, shape, or form. That's this is the movie I was talking about in the our Chris Robin reaction. Um, this one I'm still hesitant for. I can be honest with you. Now, now, before we get into the worries, let's get yeah. into the positives. It stars Emily Blunt as the main protagonist. Phenomenal actress. Yes. This is a, a con sequel to the original following the Banks and now their kids. The Banks' kids following their kids, pretty much. If that made sense. Yeah, I know. And, since it is probably going to be a musical, they got one of the best guys to do a musical with right now. Lin-Manuel Miranda. And he's also starring in it, playing the uh, apprentice of the original... Um Played by Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, uh, the, that's who he's playing. Pretty Original much. chimney sweeper. Yeah, he's a, he was a, he's an apprentice, and um, like I said, you got you got him, and you got a, uh, like I said, it's it's following not just both their kids, it's following one of their kids because one of them, um, the main the boy, pretty much when he he has a family, I guess something happens to his wife, and things you know start to happen where he's he's struggling, he's doing everything he can to keep it with his own kids. Listen um, to what you just said. Does not not sound similar to the plot to Christopher Robin. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, was it? Oh, Meryl Streep's in. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Um, uh, freaking ruined it. Sorry, um, sorry. But yes, they decided. Oh, let's toss in Meryl Streep, and who's she playing? Mary Poppins' sister. Mary Poppins. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Wouldn't Mary? Po wouldn't Meryl Streep be better as? The original Mary Poppins and be like the Mary Poppins being like a title, like kind of like how people originally thought James Bond was just a title. God, that doesn't make sense. Like if it was, if it was a title, like if Mary Poppins was the like the the original, and she sent her daughter down as the new Mary Poppins, you know that would be interesting. Think make, uh, for right now. This is we haven't watched it just yet, of course. But from the sound of it, it sounds like it's more of like she's that magical. Damn it! Yeah, That's what the the, the, the plot on here is pretty much just um, the same, almost the same plot as, as the, the original. But yeah. this time, it's following the the three kid, the Banks' kids. Uh, it's after watching Saving Mr. Banks and stuff like that, you see how you know how she was very sensitive of, of her character and stuff like that. I would understand, you know, to me, they, to, to be honest, I would have left it alone just the way it is, to, to be honest, but I could be wrong, it could do yeah. a good job. It's from the direct, um, it's coming from the, I'm sorry, you can finish. No, continue. It's from the director of Chicago and mm -hmm. that Into the Woods movie. Yeah. And, sorry from that, it's being written by the... Yeah, I know, the same writer did Finding Neverland. Neverland. Um, but, yeah. no, 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 like I was saying, like I was saying though... Sorry. This is a movie that I'm really doubtful for, only because, like you said, it's, it's like there's certain characters, certain films, you can agree with me, there are certain films that you should not touch. There are certain ones that just, just stay the same. They, they should leave it alone. Um, but, like you said, I could be wrong. Okay, here, here, I'll go off of what I, similarly to what I said to Christopher Robin. It has a good cast. It's not based off of anything except taking from the original source material. Yeah. It trying their own thing. They do have good talent on it, and uh, and um, the director has done a musical before. Don't forget, Chicago is technically a musical. Yeah. I so know. he has experience doing a musical. It's not like they do some random. So well, I, I understand, and I completely understand that. But like you said, that's why I said I could be wrong. 
You know, that's what I'm saying. I could be wrong, and it could do amazingly well, and Why I'd would, be happy. Okay, okay, if, yeah, no, exactly, I agree with that. I'm just thinking about, why would we need to see Mary Poppins' sister? I'm trying, I'm trying to figure that out. Like, I get why Meryl Streep's in this, because, um, the director, um, uh, he was, she was in Into the Woods, same one that he directed. Yeah, exactly. I just... It just why do we need her sister? I don't know. This is Mary Poppins. This is she, Let's just stop she talking. This. Let's just stop talking and just watch it, and then we'll talk a lot more probably hopefully after it. So let's, again, this is for the official teaser trailer for Mary Poppins Returns. So here we go. I say that's the best tale they could come up with. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I see. Oh, does she, okay, in the in the in the trailer tease, it looked like she was holding like an umbrella. It's, it is wonderful to see you. Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that was cute. That, that was, was cute. cute. That was really that's, cute. That's nice. Um, okay, in the trailer <laughs> tease, from when we saw it, it looked like she was just holding an umbrella. No, she was holding the kite. <laughs> she was holding the kite, coming down with it. Um, again, there's only a tease. Won't know for sure until we see. Yeah, this was about as long as the Chris and Robin one. Yeah, and, and it, it, like, again, it's interesting. So I was really hoping they were going to, you know, see those classic lines, you know, winds from the east or something like that. Something like that. It would have been a cool teaser, but I guess that this will do uh, just the as mu fine. The music's just enough. If you grew up with, if you grew up watching Mary Poppins, you know the music. Yeah. Don't use the music. Yeah. Honestly, it can't say much. I mean, I'm it. Word, god damn it. I mean, it look... God damn it. G talk. I won't be able to say anything until I see the full trailer. There you go. That's what I meant. I do not have 100% confirmation on anything. This same goes to Chris Robin one. Despite Jim Cummings making me nearly cry. Um, this looks like Emily Bunt will do a good job. Yeah. I think she... Like... Let's be honest, her other big movie coming out this year is one where she gets attacked by um, sound monsters or aliens with her husband. Um, so, this could be a good year for Emily Blunt. Yeah, definitely. Lemon Mar I've already said before, Lemon Miranda is a perfect choice to play the Chimney Sweeper's Apprentice. I mean, dude was in Hamilton. I mean, dude's a, a musical, is really good, has really good musical capabilities. I was trying to figure out the term for that. I'm trying to figure that out there. <laughs> you have me going, huh? Oh, uh, I I did take my bird off a little, but I did bring a good point. It's like that was really the best title they could come up with because you can't call it Mary Poppins Two, or Mary Poppins Electric Boogaloo, or Mary Poppins Returns. We'll to, get a film. Returns that's to called save Electric the other, Boogaloo. Or Mary Poppins Returns to save the other Banksies. You know, I mean, yeah. Mary Poppins Returns was the best they could come up with, to be honest. So, yeah, I have about 80% confidence, if I put a number on it, about 8% confidence, has a good writer on it, has a good, has a, somebody, a director who has worked on a musical before, musical, sorry, but Into the Woods technically a musical, I keep on yeah. forgetting that, um, and Emily Blunt's a good actress, what else can I say? Yeah, sure. Anything else? Nothing much, like I said, we said a whole bunch in the beginning, so...
Okay. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share this around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else who comes to talk about Disney flicks, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're also mobile, hit that bell icon. Just let us know what you guys thought of this teaser. Um, if you're in one of those, like, you're with me pretty much where you're still doubtful they should have done this or anything like that, definitely put down your thoughts and comments down below. Um, and if you are one of those that was really hoping for them to do this, even then, put down what you guys thought of this teaser and what you can't wait for in this in this mo in this film. Actually, um, put down also what you thought of our reaction overall. Uh, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Krista. I'm Christopher, and this has been a somewhat Mary Poppins filled episode of S R B. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to see any more of our videos, check out the playlist links down below in the description. And you can also check out our Twitter uh, account pretty much uh, down below at Super React Bros.